This is another Fox News alert. Reuters is reporting that North Korea has fired an unidentified projectile into the sea off its eastern coast, according to the South Korean news agency. Uh, and a piece of news that uh, has just suddenly broken. Let's bring in our panel. Matthew Continetti of the Washington Free Beacon, Karen Tumulty of the Washington Post, and Byron York of the Washington Examiner. I suspect that uh, the North Koreans did not know about Hurricane Harvey, but Karen, their timing is impeccable, isn't it? Yeah, they, they do have a, a knack, it seems like, for sort of adding chaos on top of chaos. So, um, they, I mean, but the, the frequency of these things, I think, is, is the, the thing that's got to be most worrisome right now. Yeah, now we, I, we need to point out that there's an awful lot we don't know. Again, we have not independently been able to verify this report of a missile test. We don't know anything about the nature of the missile, whether it was medium range or long range, anything like that. So, but it, it does seem to be an indication. There are a couple of sources now reporting that North Korea has fired another projectile. One assumes it's a missile. Byron, it's interesting because there had been some talk on the part of the uh, Trump administration that maybe Kim and his regime was backing off and quieting down a little bit after all the threats that talk about fire and fury now apparently not so much. That's right. We should we should never be surprised when North Korea does this, but I believe the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said a few days ago, well gee, it's been it's been a good while since they've last fired a missile. The the idea being that they had backed off. Now, if this is true and they've done it again, I think Tillerson will have to reconsider his his statements, but there I think there was some optimism uh in the administration uh with this idea that perhaps they had backed off the threats to Guam and maybe just pulled back a little bit. So we'll have to see what this is now. All of which would seem to point out, Matthew, something that is fairly self-evident, which is you can't count on uh, Kim Jong-un to do anything except the unexpected. No, not at all. We have to learn what missile they fired and where it was directed, of course. That plays a lot into exactly what type of response he's expecting from the United States. Though you get the sense sometimes that we have President Trump with a whack-a-mole presidency. You know, he hits one crisis in Afghanistan, he has another crisis on the domestic front, and just when you think that the North Korean front is settled down, here he pops up again.